What is up guys, my name is Commenting and today I have for you guys a little melee guide. Basically the best melee item that is in Unturned. I have every single melee item in these five lockers. We're gonna go over every single one, compare all together and see exactly which melee items are the strongest. Now making this video I already learned a lot and I didn't know some of the things that I'm gonna be telling you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Before we talk about any of these melee weapons, first I want to talk about the experience. Firstly, overkill. If you do increase the overkill, it's going to increase your damage dealt to character. If you increase exercise, this will decrease the stamina when using your power attack. If you don't know if you left click, it does the normal attack. If you right click, it will do the power attack. Almost every single melee weapon has a normal attack and a power attack. And lasting mechanic, repairing bases and vehicles with a blowtorch. I guess we can actually start off with a blowtorch. What this bad boy does is it heals things. If this was damaged, I go in and click over this and it heals it. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know this. You can also do this to your vehicles as well. And you have to use a blowtorch to craft many, many things like a locker, like any metal base. You're going to have to use a blowtorch to be able to craft it. The blowtorch doesn't have a power swing. It's only left click. And most people don't know this, but it does do 11 damage to the head, 8 damage to the body, and 6 damage to the limb. Going on, there's basically two categories. We have the blunts and we have the bladed. Blunts on the left, bladed on the right. We're going to start off with the blunts and let's start out with the flashlight. Firstly, the flashlight. It's special little ability. It has a toggle light on and off. These spawn a lot and if you ever need to go somewhere very dark or it's just very dark, you want to have this around, it's very, very nice. It does 23 to the head, 16 to the body, and 12 to the limb. Unless you're doing strength, it does 24 to the head 25 to the body and 18 to the limb going on we have the hammer and the crowbar these both have the same exact damage 27 to the head 20 to the body and 15 to the limb and they have the same strength damage at 41 to the head 30 to the body and 22 to the limb Now the rest of these, the baseball bat, shovel, frying pan, sledgehammer, paddle, hockey stick, golf club, baton, and pool cue. All of these in my inventory have the same exact damage output. All of these do 37 to the head, 27 to the body, and 20 to the limb. Unless you're looking at a powerful swing, it does 56 to the head, 40 to the body, and 30 to the limb. We have next the bladed weapons, the knives, chainsaws, everything as such. Firstly, let's talk about the chainsaw and jackhammer. These two are actually the same exact stuff. Special thing about the chainsaw, it cuts down trees. Special thing about a jackhammer is it cuts down the stone nodes and you get metal scrap from them. They sound the exact same and they basically, they are constant. They do 27 damage to the head, 20 damage to the body, and 15 damage to the limb. Of course, being there, no right click. If you're trying to be sneaky, don't use it because from this far, we're going to get that zombie's attention. Next up, we have the beautiful saw. This does 27 to the head, 20 to the body, and 15 to the limb. Also, if you do a strength hit, 41 to the head, 30 to the body, and 22 to the limb. Also, another thing that saws are useful for, you can turn logs into planks, and you can turn planks into sticks, which is basically how you make crates or maple bottles or maple gas cans, basically anything. This is your makeshift tool right here. It's very good, and you can make it with two scrap metal. Next up, we have these items, the machete, fire axe, camp axe, pitchfork, rake, and pickaxe. Now, stuff special about this, the camp axe, of course, cuts down trees a lot faster than any other melee weapon besides the chainsaw, of course, and fire axe cuts down that tree a little bit faster than a camp axe. The pickaxe is meant for hitting those nodes like you see over there. If you don't have a jackhammer, use a pickaxe. All these are slow hitting and do 37 to the head, 27 to the body, and 20 to the limb. If you look at a powerful shot, it does 56 to the head, 40 to the body, and 30 to the limb. Next up, we have the knives. We have a Swiss knife, kitchen knife, butcher knife, and the scythe. All these do the same damage at 44 to the head, 32 to the body, and 26 to the limb. A strength shot to 66 to the head, 48 to the body, and 36 to the limb.
Lastly, I have the katana, military knife, butterfly knife, and the makeshift bat. Now, all four of these have the same exact damage at 55 to the head, 40 to the body, and 30 to the limb. When looking at a strength shot, it does 82 to the head, 60 to the body, and 45 to the limb. Yes, I was confused too, but a military knife and the butterfly knife do the same exact damage. But that is everything that I have to show you guys today. All the melee items right here on the ground. You can see them all. Of course, I didn't talk about the obsidian axe. I didn't talk about the obsidian club, the swyhander, or the shark tooth sword because those are so rare. They're basically not even, they're not, they're not worth it to be honest. They're way too rare. This is talking about practical. What's the best melee weapon in the game? And before you guys say, where were the zombie stats? Zombie stats, I don't think are really meaningful in this because every single one of these weapons can kill a zombie one way or the other if one item can hit him with two shots but the next one can hit the zombie in three shots it doesn't really matter all that much my favorite melee weapons i would have to say is the butterfly knife the chainsaw of course because you saw my horde video the chainsaw is how you do the horde begin i can't not like the chainsaw of course the blowtorch because that's how you really break anything and those are basically my three favorite ones this butterfly knife like i said it's better than the military knife butterfly knife for the win i hope you guys enjoyed this video of course all of these are very useful and i'd be down for any one of these but you just have to remember some of the things that i told you because i know a lot of you guys didn't really know all of these damage i mean who would have thought that a sledgehammer was the same damage as a hockey stick or a wooden paddle would have the same damage as a metal shovel it doesn't really make sense but that's how it is just gotta remember that my name is commenting and i'm out of here see you guys later